What's going on guys? I'm Alex Powers. Today we're going through a leg and back workout, mainly legs. Um, this is crazy. So um, this is after the powerlifting meet. I didn't hit the depth that I needed to in my squat, so I've been really focused on trying to uh, trying to hit depth. Like I said, no more uh, you know top third squats. No, I'm kidding. Uh, getting hamstrings to calves. Really, really focusing on um, getting that full range of motion, working the muscles properly, making sure everything's activating, stuff like that. I'm even stretching. I'm even stretching. Some of you guys have seen my Instagram. I post. Um, it's gonna come out in a couple weeks from this, but. Anyway, if you guys scroll back through my timeline, you guys will see me doing a crazy stretch. We can post it on screen. Um, anyway, I'm really trying to get flexible and more mobile and work into those positions, be comfortable in those positions. Um, we, call it the, we call it the third world squat. Ask the floor, ask the grass, whatever you may uh, think, call it one, two. Um, anyway, so I've been front squatting to really work on those positions, train my upper back, train my core to stay more upright, more rigid. In that squat, so that I'm not, you know, hunching over and stuff like that, um, quite as much. So anyway, like I said, in this workout, I was brutal. Kimberly laughed at me, talked a lot of shit. So we started with, um, you know, rolled out. We got everything going, and then I was under a little bit of a time crunch, so I did uh, these staggered, these staggered uh, lunges, where it's really targeting your BMO. That's really, really good for um, knee tracking and stuff like that in a squat. Your BMO and your glute medius uh, are kind of like your knee stabilizer. So when it comes to squatting, everybody says knees out, knees out, knees out. That is to work the glutes and to activate them. But generally speaking, knee stability is all about the vastus medialis and the glute, the glute medius. So both of them are on opposite sides. BMO, glute medius keeps that knee in alignment. And like I said, when you are squatting, it keeps that knee tracking over the second and third toe. Or at least it should. So like I said, this exercise is just a good warm up, really forces a lot of blood in there. Um, I'm really big on getting a mechanical advantage before I train and or correcting muscle imbalances that I have. So like I said, uh, I've been beating the hell out of my hamstrings for years now. Now I kind of feel like they're somewhat equal to my quad, so I gotta kind of even the playing field. And like I said, this is also going to help me in my front squats. So right after that, we went, uh, oh no, we did those abs first. We did those abs first, so then we did the, we did this actually, it was a circuit I think. Um, went back and forth, so the abs were kind of cool. It's a really functional ab movement. I was hanging from there, kind of going in and out, uh, opposite, really working the obliques and the lower abs. That's super big for squatting. Your obliques are almost like your pillars, guys. So I always say pillars to the White House. Those pillars are holding up the front. That's what your obliques are, okay? That's gonna keep you more upright in your squat position and or your deadlifts and stuff like that. Um, that particular exercise works lower abs, obliques, and everything else, right? So getting your lower abs is gonna help support your lower back. Lower back is one of the first things that's gonna give out. Um, funny I mentioned this, I'm gonna talk about this a little bit in the video. Um, to kind of keep that from not going out, but like I said, from it's kind of keeping your strength there. So if you have a bad lower back, strengthening the lower abs will take pressure off of that. Um, anyway, so we did those abs, did the staggered lunges. Right after that, I was on a little bit of a time crunch, so I got right into my front squats. Uh, made some pretty good jumps, 135, 225. Went to 255, I believe, hit it for a couple. 275 did it for a couple and then jump straight from that 305 in this video you're gonna see that I bail out when I got down there um, like I said depth is something I'm working on so like I said I put the safety spotters up to remind me about depth now some people are gonna be like ah that's a bad call don't do that because as soon as you do that you mentally have already given up the set you've already given up the rep yes and no you know can that be a negative uh, thing in your head to like where oh no like you're not gonna make it type deal yeah absolutely but generally speaking, for me, depth is a struggle. So like I said, that's reminding me to literally touch my hamstrings to my calves to come back up. Now, like I said, I'm kind of flirting between that 280 to 300 range with that front squat. So like I said, it's not even a, uh, an upper back issue. It's literally just a core and a lower back issue actually, just to get up out of the hole. And like I said, you'll see in this video um, that we show here on screen now that, you know, I got down there, I was fine. And as soon as I tried to drive up, I just, I just couldn't get out of that hole. So like I said, just getting that strength in through those lower abs, lower back, and those glutes just to drive out of that hole is really the key. Um, so anyway, right after that, I did uh, low back extensions on the glute ham raise. So as you can see, I kind of struggle getting the bar back behind my head. It's a brutal exercise, guys. Um, super hamstring and lower back focus. You're obviously going to feel the glutes too. Um, 
get into a comfortable position here. This is not something that's going to be easy and it's not going to be something that's going to be remotely enjoyable, I will tell you that. Um, you just want the glute ham raise or the GHR to be right at that hip crease for you, okay? So when you're doing these, you can either push through, um, push through the platform on the back or you can hook your heels or, or your toes around the, uh, the rollers, okay? I kind of did a combination of both in the set just because as the set went on, obviously the barbell is going to be pulling me forward and so is my weight as I'm you know, kind of going down. Anyway, um, really, really focus on keeping that upper back nice and tight when you are coming up and drive that head back as much as you can. Uh, even body weight, this exercise is really brutal. Between reverse hypers, the 45 degree low back and this, and just a normal GHR, um, honestly amazing for you and really, really good. Um, I'm really trying to work on uh, my hamstrings at, and hip flexion as opposed to and hip extension as opposed to uh, knee flexion, knee extension and working the hamstrings that way. So like I said, you're going to see a lot more straight leg movements from me here in the coming uh, in near future really. Um, not that I'm not doing those hamstring curls and stuff, I'm just a lot more focused on these other movements just because I feel like that's where I'm lacking and that's what I really need to work on to really build my strength and to accomplish what it is I want to. Um, okay, after we hit those, this is something I just started the other day. Uh, some of you guys are gonna see this. I, start, I started doing five minutes of walking lunges. Okay, so I started about the first uh, trip and a half, trip down to trip and a half down um, and back that I'm doing weighted lunges. I start with the 40s, then I finish out the rest of the five minutes body weight. Um, so this is something that I just started doing. Like I said, it is a challenge, it's a cardio challenge, but also it's something that like, it's weight training sort of. So it's not just me running on a treadmill, stuff like that, that's monotonous. I can't do that. I can't really feel like a gerbil and I can't run outside either. I, I used to play basketball. So going up and down the court and stuff like that, that was fun for me. That was easy because it was competitive. I didn't really notice, wow, I ran up and down the court 30 times as opposed to going out and running 400 meters or something like that, just not really my style. Now, if I'm racing somebody cool, one or two, I'm good. Anything past that, I just kind of get bored. Uh, these lunges, I think, are, are not enjoyable by any stretch, but they're a lot more doable for me just because mentally I um, can kind of push myself through that. And like I said, I'm still in the gym, still in the gym atmosphere, so it's still something that I feel like I can do. Um, anyway, the point of these is to add joint stability and joint strength, hypertrophy the muscles a little bit, um, around the knee and at the hip to, like I said, that, that your body's going to respond. Any stimulus that you throw at your body, it's going to, um, it's going to, it's going to change. There's something that's going to happen. Okay. So if you're used to squatting 135 pounds and all of a sudden, you know, you get strong enough, you can squat 225, your body's going to have to, um, develop more muscle tissue and everything else to sustain that, uh, to sustain that strength. Okay. So, Anyway, long story short guys, with the lunges, they're awesome, knee stability. Uh, if you go out and play a sport or something like that, you're gonna be a lot more likely to be able to stabilize through a range of motion and a lot less likely to get hurt because those joints are more stable and they're stronger. Like I said, you're conditioned to be able to maintain your running mechanics, your cutting mechanics and everything else because of those lunges and because of that knee stability. So anyway, that's that. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much. Thanks for listening. Hopefully I taught you guys something in this workout. Hopefully I can take, you guys can take something away. Um, and throw it in your own. I have, uh, we're gonna film another lower body day here, actually probably next week, that I'm gonna be posting right after this one, same week. Um, that way you can kinda, you guys kinda have something else to go off of too. Um, these are not routines that I think are meant for everybody, but I think a lot of the injury prevention stuff that I do say in here is beneficial, and I will talk more a little bit about muscle activation and stuff like that. Um, we're gonna have a big announcement the week that this comes out. So this will probably come out that Monday. Um, actually, no, this is coming out tomorrow. So yeah, this is coming out tomorrow. This is the last, this is second last uh, Friday in February. So anyway, when the next video comes out after this one, then there's gonna be a big announcement. It's gonna be like right after the arm. You guys might get a sneak peek next week. We'll see. We'll see what Kimberly's feeling. Um, anyway. Thank you guys so much. Like, subscribe, turn on the post notifications up here. Follow me on Instagram, Alex J Powers and The Power Motion. Like I said, I'm putting out a ton of content on my personal page. The gym's gonna start putting out more content and stuff like that uh, to educate you guys, to help you guys in your routines and everything else. Like I said, we have something very special coming that is gonna help all of you. I'm really excited 
to see uh, who jumps on it and stuff like that and who doesn't. Like I said, I'm trying to help you guys. I'm trying to give it all to you. Uh, everything that I've learned over the last 10 years, stuff like that, training and stuff like that. Uh, like I said, I want it to be your guys too. I want it to be something you guys can take and uh, use and uh, get better from. So, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Till next time.